Welcome back to Is It Still Good, the channel where we watch older films and let you know if they still hold up today. We're going to watch and talk about The Running Man, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. Now, this movie came out in 1987, the same year as a lot of things. I believe uh, Predator, Robocop, I mean, it was a stacked year for action films, in particular action sci-fi films. Now, this one's rated R, runs 1 hour 41 minutes, it's an action sci-fi thriller, and it was directed by Paul Michael Glazer. Written by Stephen King, I didn't know that, Stephen E. D. Souza stars Arnold Schwarzenegger, Maria Conchetta Alonso, and Yafet Koto. It actually won an award, was nominated for three others. What did it win? Let's take a look here. I'm poking around on IMDb. It was a nominee of the Saturn Award for Best Science Fiction Film. It won Best Supporting Actor for Richard Dawson, which was like the game show host in it. And uh, it was a nominee for Best Costumes, Robert Blackman. So there you go. Now, The Running Man's a pretty quirky movie, and I just watched it recently. It was fun. I had a good time with it, but it was a little weird. So, a parody within an action thriller. Ben Richards is an innocent man who is sentenced to The Running Man game show, a futuristic audience participation capital punishment television show. While Ben is running from champions and chainsaws and sharpened hockey sticks, the host is busy with calls to the network about ratings. So that's basically the plot synopsis. The tagline is, the year is 2019, the finest men in America don't run for president, they run for their lives. Which is silly. When Rob Cohen purchased the rights to the Richard Bachman novel, The Running Man, he had no idea that Bachman was actually a pseudonym for Stephen King. And I didn't know that either until just now. And, there, and there's a lot of cheesy quotes. This is a very schwarzenegger e film. And it's earlier in his career, so his accent's very, very thick. He's given a ton of one-liners in this, which I could take or leave. I think it works in a film like this. But one of his quotes is like, Killian, here's your Sub-Zero, now plain zero. <laughs> Shit like that. It's a silly film. But I had fun watching it, by the way. They say if this film were made today, it would have a little more resonance for a modern audience, especially with the amount of reality-based television and uh, stuff going on today. So I think it would actually work better. This one's probably prime for a remake. Not that I condone that sort of thing, but it could be remade. There's a bunch of cheesy parts in it that could be a bit tighter. Great use of color in this film. And uh, a lot of fun. I, I kept getting like shades of like Total Recall, shades of Robocop, uh, very satirical, you know, things like that. It's like a product of its time for sure. Now, IMDb gives this movie a 6.6 .6 out of 10. Do I agree? Well, I gotta be honest. I actually give this film a 6.7 out of 10. So we're actually pretty close uh, with IMDb's rating. And I did enjoy myself. I had fun. Now, do you need to go rush out and watch this movie? Definitely not. But a 6.7 is definitely watchable. If you're a fan of action, you're a fan of Schwarzenegger, you should watch it. There's a lot of things in this movie that make no sense at all. Don't try to make sense of it all. Just try to have fun with it. And uh, the characters that are hunting them in the game show are larger than life and very silly. And I actually do appreciate that. Um, you know, it's, it's a pretty cut and dry movie. Now, you guys kept voting for this one time and time again. So I know a bunch of you are fans of this film. And, you know, a big part of this channel is not so much my opinion of each movie, but the conversation continued in the comment section. So go ahead and jump into the comments. Let me know what you think about The Running Man and why you love it so much. Why did you guys keep voting this one up? And I think I know why. It's a classic. It's a lot of fun. And Schwarzenegger's in his prime, you know. But I found it to be pretty goofy. I gave it a 6.7 because I was laughing a lot. And although I prefer films like Total Recall and Predator and Robocop 1, of course, I mean, these are like legendary status movies. Running Man was decent. It wasn't awful. I had a good time with it. It went by pretty quickly. One hour, 41 minutes. I think that could have been shaved down to about an hour 20, actually. So I think I could have gotten this down to an hour 20, hour 30 max. At 141, it felt like there was a little bit of fat on it, especially with, um, you know, some of the uh, theatrics of the game show itself. You know, we get it after the first minute and sometimes they run for a couple minutes, three minutes, stuff like that. It's okay, but I could have done without all that. Other than that, yeah, pretty good. Would I recommend it? I'd say if you're above 30 and you like Schwarzenegger, hell yeah, go watch it. If not, it's a coin flip for you. It's probably going to be more like five out of 10 for some people. But for me, I landed on a solid 6.7 out of 10. That's the hill I'm dying on. Fight me in the comments. Don't forget to check the community tab to see what's coming for next week. And I will see you guys then on Is It Still Good?
Here is Sub-Zero, now Plane Zero.